Hey, this is Cool Trains in Montreal, and I'm here to talk about my third favorite locomotive in N scale. This is my uh, ALP 45DP. This is the Alstom locomotive that is used by AMT and by uh, New Jersey Transit for their commuter services inside tunnels. So this is a uh, dual um, a, a dual fuel source locomotive. So this is uh, it'll, it has diesel uh, fuel and also is able to be used uh, uh, an overhead catenary system. And um, this is for tunnels such as the Mount Royal Tunnel and also the tunnels that uh, the New Jersey Transit are using to get to, I think it's Grand Central Station in New York City. Now, in recent years, the funny thing is, um, after the AMT, which is now EXO, has paid all this money for these locomotives, uh, they're no longer being used in the dual mode. They're only being used in diesel mode. So just like mine here, I won't even need to have a catenary system to run this, even though it's supposed to be an electric locomotive. The only line in Montreal that ever had uh, an electric uh, overhead catenary system was the Mount Royal Tunnel. And um, they, they would run in electric mode uh, through the Mount Royal Tunnel on the Muscouche line, and then as soon as they reached uh, Acadie, I think it's at Acadie station, they would turn the pantograph off and lower it, and then continue in diesel mode. And um, as far as the Dumontang line was concerned, it would run all the way to the end in Dumontang under uh, catenary. Now, the Mount Royal Tunnel is being exclusively being used by the new REM, which is going to be a new light rail system, so these locomotives are now going to be run only in diesel mode and they will be run on the other lines uh, alongside uh, the XO locomotives that you see, um, the other ones, the F59PHIs and F59PHs. Uh, but uh, these still have a really great locomotive um, look to them. They're very modern and as you can see here, I have some, uh, at, um, these are uh, Atlas coaches to go along with them. So uh, let me just show you how this runs. Now, there was some concern about these locomotives when they first came out. But as you can see, mine runs pretty well. It's not that it's running low speed. It's just that uh, I don't have a whole lot of space to bring it up to a lot of high speed. As you can see, it runs very fine. It's just just as good as any other locomotive Atlas put out. Uh, runs very well and uh, the, the coaches are great too. It all came as part of a set. So I'll show that in a moment. Yeah, the, the locomotive has some good slow speed so I can bring it to a very slow uh, station stop. It has the lights in the front, and also when you run it in backwards, you have two red LED lights that light up. I don't know if I can show it here. Not sure if they'll show up, but they are two red lights there when it's running backwards. My only real complaint about these uh not so much the locomotive as the cars is that they have a very uh wide radius they won't work on a very tight radius so i think the minimum radius is going to be like uh one point uh one 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 foot radius or one foot radius won't even do it so it's probably one one foot two inches is probably going to be the minimum ra radius that you're going to need yeah uh, so here's the box this is what it came with. As you can see, it's very nice. My only complaint was it only gave you two cars, so I had to get extra ones. But I mean, as far as the uh, packaging is concerned, it's very good. I'm very surprised that Atlas did this, considering that it's, you know, a Canadian and New Jersey Transit, yes, prototype. But this is something I would have expected maybe Rapido Trains to do. In any case, it's a very nice locomotive, very nicely detailed. The AMT. Um, now, I had actually emailed uh, Atlas long ago when this first came out, and I suggested that AMT would have been a nice paint scheme. They probably already knew that a lot of people would like this. 
So they did decide to make it. I don't know how many people bought the AMT paint scheme. But yeah, this, this paint scheme is probably the best paint scheme um, that these locomotives will ever have. EXO, if they ever repaint these locomotives, they're going to make a real mess out of it. And they already have, because you can see now, uh, they've removed the AMT and it just looks it looks boring. And uh, you'd think that they would just write the word EXO in that space, but nah, they didn't seem to want to do that. Anyways, uh... I just consider this to be a really beautiful uh, paint scheme, really well thought out in terms of graphics, graphic design. The blue representing the Quebec flag, representing the water around the city of Montreal, you know, and the, the, the wave action is kind of a dynamic, very indicative of the train's motion all around. This is a very well thought out paint scheme. And even if these locomotives sound like, uh, you know, vacuum cleaners, basically, in real life, well, this one is really one of my favorites. Like I said, it's my third favorite locomotive. And it, as a person that lives in Montreal and does a lot of commuting by train, it's very interesting, very cool to be able to, you know, have a model of something that you ride on almost daily. So if you like what I do, please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal. Have a good day.